Hi everybody, I'm Kim Miller with Princeton Properties here in Lowell, Massachusetts. I'd like to introduce you to Dan, who is a fitness professional at Best Fitness and also studies exercise physiology at UMass Lowell. Dan is going to show us some quick and easy workout tips that you can do at home. So get up and get moving. How you doing everybody? I'm just going to show you some quick at home workouts that you can do that won't take longer than 10 minutes and um, they're really effective. So first we're going to warm up. We're going to start with some toe touches. These are just going to stretch out the whole body and get the heart pumping, get us nice and warmed up. So you're going to stand uh, feet wider than shoulder width apart, arms out. You're just going to bend down, touch your toes, just like this. You want to stand up all the way, get a full stretch in the back. If you can't touch your toes, you can bend your knees a little bit in order to stretch all the way down. So that's good. Usually you want to do about 15 of those as long as you feel warmed up. Next we'll do what are called knee tucks. It'll stretch out the legs a little bit more. You're just going to lift up, pull your knee in. You want to pull it in gently, not hard. Nice smooth motion, just like that. So again, you can do about 15 of these for each leg to get nice and warmed up. All right, the first exercise we'll do, we can do squats with a modified, um, do the modified with a chair. So you're going to stand about a foot in front of the chair, feet shoulder width apart, and you're going to put your arms up as well when you squat down. This is going to increase heart rate because you're adding more motion into the movement. So you're going to squat down, arms up, stand up, down, up. You don't want to sit in the chair when you do it like this. You don't want to rest. You just want to touch the chair for a brief second, come right back up. Another leg exercise you can do called walking lunges. Put your hands on your hips, you step forward and lunge down. You don't want your knee to touch the ground when you do it. It should be a couple inches above the ground. You can do them back, just like that. Keep your torso nice and upright and core tight. Next exercise we can do utilizes the chair. They're called dips. They're going to work the chest, the shoulders, and the back of the arm, the triceps. You're going to put your hands on the edge of the chair, feet down in front of you, lower yourself down, right back up. Just like that. Keeping the core nice and tight, stabilizing the body. If that's too easy, you can use another chair to put your feet up on. Put your feet right on the chair, lower yourself down, and up. Just like that. Another exercise we can do that focuses more on the chest is a modified push-up on the edge of the table. Just go to the edge of the table, put your hands right on it, put your feet out, get in a push-up position. You want to have your back nice and straight, core tight, lower yourself down, right back up. Nice smooth motion. Next exercise we can do using the table is for the core. Just going to put your feet up on the edge of the table. You want to make a 90 degree angle between your calf and the back of your leg. Just going to crunch right up. Pause for a brief second at the top, and lower down. For all the workouts I just showed you, you want to do three sets, about 10 to 15 reps for each exercise. Thank you, Dan, for showing us those quick and easy workout tips that you can do from your home. Thanks, Kim. You're welcome.